diversity satta vividhatya animals can be divided into two parts vertebrates and invertebrates prushtavanshin saha aprushtavanshin who are the vertebrates animals with backbone konduvetta pelak sahita satun prushtavanshin lesa hadun bai invertebrates animals without backbone konduvetta pelak nometi satun aprushtavanshin lesa hadun bai vertebrates again can be divided into five groups fish much same example shark and tuna mora saha kelawalla amphibian example tot gemba ichthyophis panu gemba frog Madia, Salamander, Salamandera. Reptiles. Or again, example: Turtle, Kasbeva, Lizard, Katusa, Snake, Naya, Crocodile, Kimbula. Birds. Hawk, Pusa. Kingfisher, Pilihidua, Magpie, Polkicha, Oriole, Kahakurulla. Mammals. Example: Bat, Vaula, Dolphin, Man, and Deer. Deer means Mua. after that we discuss about invertebrates invertebrates examples for invertebrates leech kudella beetle kuruminia butterfly zamanalia spider makulua snail golubella prawn isa all these animals without backbone adaptation anuvartanaya the ability of organisms adapted to their environment is called adaptation jeevin තම පරිසරයට දක්වන හැඩගැසීම් අනුවර්තන ලෙස හඳුන්වයි different animals shows different adaptations to fulfill their needs මෙම අනුවර්තන ඔවුන්ගේ විවිධ අවශ්‍යතා සපුරා ගැනීමට උදව් වෙනවා for example food ආහාර protection ආරක්ෂාව shelter වාසස්ථාන This video is shows adaptations for protections and food among animals camouflage veshantaraneya the difficulty to identify animals separately from their surrounding 
due to blendings of body color to particular environment is called camouflage sharira varnaya parisari varnaya samaga galapima nisa satvayin pahasuin parisarin venkaraganim apahasuvim veshantarane lesa handin ve the animals show camouflage leaf insect peracolia moth zalambia grasshopper panacola petta butterfly zamanalia caterpillar dalambua snake ahatulla all these videos shows camouflage among different animals what are the main importance of camouflage to animals veshantarane nisa sapunta tiyana vedagat kama kumakda veshantarane vedagat kama kumakda first one to protect animals from predators विलोपिकियांगेन आरक्षा वीम संधा जगन वन टू फाइंड प्रे फॉर फूड्स गोदुरु स्वागनी म संधा आहार संधा गोदुरु स्वागनी म संधा हाउ शेप्स हेल्प्स द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ एनिमल्स शरीर हेडे जीविंगे पैवत मते කොහොමද වැදගත් වෙන්නේ under that we discuss about streamline shapes streamline shapes anakula hadaya this diagram shows the streamline shapes in this figure two ends are pointed shapes so this shape is called streamline shapes Name five streamline shapes animals. First one bird. Bird shows streamline shapes. Two ends are pointed shapes. Then fish. Also fish shows streamline shapes. Two ends of these animals are pointed shapes. The streamline body shapes of birds and fish. helps to overcome the difficulties they have in their environment we call that efficiency in their locomotion matsin saha pakshinge jeevatana parisare pavathina baadata medagena karyakshama sancharanayak sidu kirima sadaha mema anakula de hadaya priyojanawat wenawa it is the importance of the streamline body shapes dichotomous key debadun suchi what are the features of the dichotomous key debadun suchi ek lakshana monawada first one select a feature that could be differentiated easily it is a very important point පහසුවෙන් වෙන් කර දැක්විය හැකි ලක්ෂණයක් තෝරා ගැනීම it should be a external feature we should not take the internal features we should take external features only it is a very special thing second one consider one feature at a time and separate that feature as present o absent varakata ekalakshanayak pamanak 
ඇති නැති ආකාරයට වෙන් කිරීම absent or present third one finally separate the item so that only one item only one item will remain at the end avasane ekka jeeviyek pamanak sitina sevin kirima now we discuss about dichotomous key by using animals satun yodagana dichotomous key ekak karanne kohomada first example cock kula snail golbella fish maluwa frog gemba lizard katusa cobra naya all these six animals we can be divided into two parts presence of legs and absence of legs part the ati part the nati frog lizard and cock presence of legs but its nail fish and cobra absence of legs legs is the external feature presence of legs absence of legs this feature is external feature then frog lizard and cock again can be divided into two parts presence of four legs and absence of four legs frog and lizard presence of four legs but cock absence of four legs then frog and lizard the again can be divided into two parts presence of tail and absence of tail lizard presence of tail frog absence of tail then other side snail fish and cobra these three animals can be divided into two parts presence of fins and absence of fins fish has a fins but snail and cobra absence of fins then snail and cobra again can be divided into two parts presence of shell and absence of shell snail presence of shell cobra absence of shell after that we discuss about dichotomous key by using plant there are five plants mango amber sigas madu guava pera coconut pol mimosa nidikumba these five plants we can be divided into two groups having a branch stems and not having a branch stem mango guava mimosa having a branch stem coconut and seekers not having a branch stem then mango guava and mimosa again can be divided into two part plants with fronds plants without fronds mimosa plant with fronds but mango and guava plants without fronds then mango and guava divided into two groups having more seed example guava not having more seed example mango it is a simple thing then other side coconut and seekers flowering plants and non flowering plants flowering plants mean plants with flower non flowering plants plants without flowers so coconut is a flowering plant sigas is a non flowering plants 